Welcome to History Lesson, where I give you the latest, the history on basically anything. Today, the history of Aquaman. Why Aquaman? Well, he has a movie coming up, and Zack Snyder posted an image of Jason Momoa's Aquaman, so why not? So let's go. Aquaman made his first million appearance in More Fun Comics, issue number 73, on November of 1941. Created by Mar Mort he Heinsinger and Paul Norris. Algaman is a telepathic ruler of Atlantis and the Earth's o oceans. An Atlantean with incredible strength and speed as well as the ability to command all sea life. His unique ph physiology allows him to survive on land and at the ocean's greatest depths of pressure and temperature. Given the names Orin through his royal heritage and Arthur Curry by his human upbringing, he fights both to protect both worlds using his mighty abilities and political influence. He is a founding member of the Justice League of America. <coughs> Originally in Silver Age continuity, Arthur Curry was the son of a lighthouse keeper named Tom Curry and a woman named Atlanta. Atlan Atlanta. Tom Curry lived in Amnesty Bay, Maine and raised his son with wife in the local Lighthouse. Arthur started as a manifest incredible strength and speed at a young age and as well as the ability to breathe underwater and talk to fish. On her deathbed, his mother revealed that she was an exiled queen of Atlantis and he would someday inherit the rule of the Seven Seas. His father gave him up an education and told, taught him to control his powers, eventually allowing him to grow up and become the superhero known we all know and love as Aquaman. His origins were changed when the universe was rebooted during the crisis on Infinite Earths. Orin was born an heir to the Atlantean royal family. His mother, Atlanta, Atlanta, was unable to conceive a child with her husband, King Travis, but she was impregnated during his dream by his mortal wizard, Atlan. Atlan pro prophesied the child's future. Atlan pro prophesied the child's future and named him after his ancestor, Orin, promising that he would sire another son because two brothers must always struggle for the fate of Atlantis. Travis immediately knew the child wasn't his because of the blonde hair, a long-held superstition that a child might carry the curse of Kordax. The baby was announced as a miscarriage and left to die on Mercy Reef, where his ability to communicate with sea life allowed him to raise, to be raised by dolphins. His adopted mother was named Porm and she was gave to him the name Swimmer, although he left this new family after Fisherman killed his adopted father Drin. His next encounter with humanity was a lighthouse operator named Tom Curry who took him in as a son, giving him the human name Arthur Curry before his death. Spending time in Alaska, he met and fell in love with a beautiful Eskimo girl named Kaka. They conceived a child together, but the demonic, demonic god, uh, Nulia Juk, forced Arthur to leave before he could learn of the pregnancy. His next fight against the god would be Poseidon's son Triton when he rescued Princess Diana from his sexual advantages. Returning to Atlantis, he was arrested and sentenced to hard labor in the Aquarian prison. He found mentorship in the former professor Vocal, who taught him Atlantean, although he decided to escape when he learned that he, his birth mother had died. Curry's first encounter with another superhero was the Flash, who named him Aquaman during a press conference to the crisis shore after they fought the Trickster. Upon his next return, Orrin learns that Vocal has led a revolution to claim his birthright as the king of Atlantis. This has supposedly changed during Infinite Crisis as a conversation with Jackson Hyde during Brightest Day reveals to once again the son of Atlanta, Atlanta and Lighthouse Keeper Tom Curry. Justice League Aquaman will go on to become a founding member of the Justice League, although their origins have been altered several times in the continuing. The original founding members included Batman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Martian Man, Hunter, Superman, and Wonder Woman. They met for the first time during the alien invasion by the uh, Palalaxins. This was later amended post crisis to write Batman and Superman out of the story, and Wonder with Wonder Woman being replaced by Black Canary. Now we go into the Aquaman family. Arthur met a young youth abandoned by the idealist and idealist and took him in as a psychic, the original Aqualad. He would later meet Mera, the queen of a dimension Aqua, they would eventually marry. Their first child together was named Arthur Curry Jr. In this in the story, Aquaman, Death of a Prince, Black Manta returned with a series of more vicious personal attacks, beginning with the assault on Atlantis, all, all agriculture system. Struggling under the political responsibilities of his, his position, Aquaman convinced 
mission the brilliant inventor Weisbach to create a robotic duplicate for his ceremony du duties. Although the scientist had been working for Manta and created a mechanized bugala that almost destroyed the city. Manta would next bury him under several tons of rubble, although he escaped through a cavernous passage with the guidance of cave dwelling fish. The next great threat would be an invasion by Captain Demos, high tech pirates who actually managed to subjugate the city with terrorist threats until Aquabet managed, managed to disable their explosives and defeat them. NATO came into the conflict conflict with Atlantis when the dangerous New Order terrorist group swam through the waters, carrying on the stolen potential to make a nuclear warhead. General Hogan launched a missile, believing that the hundreds of Atlanteans lost in the crossfire would be nothing compared to the potential thousands of dead. The missile was barely averted in time for Aquaman to take down the terrorist single-handedly and defuse their hostage situation. Passing through France, the Antar encountered an aquatic drug smuggling operation organized by the fishermen using dolphins to traffic heroin and helped Interpol shut it down. Believing him to be spending too much time away from the city, the Atlantean Royal Council held a democratic election and had him dethroned. In a villain in disguise named Carson in his place as king. Running from the law, Aquaman and his family established a new aqua cave as their hideout. And. Secret Revenge against Black Manta. Alright, in New Venice. Oh, wait. Alright, in New Venice. Justice League Detroit. Let's go into Justice League Detroit. In the Justice League satellite is destroyed by the Earth's Mars War. Mara leaves him in the wake because she believes the League has acting chairman at the UN. It asks if they cannot protect the Earth without complete commitment from all their members. A new team that rises in their place includes Aquaman, Elog. Gated Man, Gypsy, Martian Manhunter, Steel, Vibe, Vixen, and Zantana. To remain close to their sworn to protect, they established new headquarters in a Detroit compound operated by Dale Gun. So that's the history of Aquaman. Why? There's more, a ton of stories to go for, but basically Aquaman is a cool character and he's badass. And I hope you guys think so too. Eventually you will. <coughs> but, that's all I have for this history lesson. It will I will, I will definitely do more if you want to leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what other history lessons you want to see me do. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you drop me a like if you enjoyed the video, that would be great. And if you could subscribe if you haven't already, that would be amazing as well. I'm Kevin Ambrose. Next time. Until next time, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.